um, it was very, very nice to do it in Annecy, actually, like it was not planned because it's never easy to announce, I'm not going to cry, it's not very easy to announce when you retire. Um, so do it at home with the people who've been supporting me for so many years, it was very special and it meant a lot. Um, I said it in French, so not everybody could understand it, but I guess you could see how emotional it was and hard just to announce it. It's still a bit hard to talk about it, but I'm so pleased I did it that early. Uh, during the season so I could enjoy my last couple of months and uh, it's been just joy and just happiness and just like just to be happy and 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 now I can just live uh, in with a smile and, but I will cry don't worry I will cry for sure tomorrow after tomorrow but yeah um, I had to take this decision for for my body so um, beginning of September I felt something on the knee uh, we thought it was just like a ligament or a tendon, so I took some rest and it was getting a lot better. Um, but then I started to train again, um, October, November, but every time I was pushing hard, I could just feel the knee not getting any better. So I decided to do a scan MRI scanner like I did everything I could do just to check the knee. Um, and um, I'm missing some cartilage. Um, I think where I'm missing it, it's at the wrong place. So every time I do lunges, every time I just over push on it, I just feel the pain and the pain I feel it's not something you want to feel. So, so yeah, I had to take the decision to, I tried to deal with it, but I love to train. I love to push. Like if you know me, you know, I like to run. I like to, I mean, I'm a very physical player. And if I cannot train the way I want to train, if I cannot play the way I want to play and just put at risk my body and the knee, I was like, yeah, it, it, it was an easy decision because I enjoyed my, I don't know how many years, but like 15 years um, on the tour. I enjoyed it so much. Um, I have no regrets. Um, I managed to... <laughs> to break the top 20, to win against the top 10 in the world. So if, like, if I could talk to myself when I was 16, I would be like, you will do that? I would be like, really? Can I? Because <laughs> I didn't have a coach. I didn't have like the best support when I was young. So what I did is I did it by myself and I'm so proud of what I did. And, and now I just want to give back what squash gave me. And, um, and yeah, I'm, I'm happy. It's, it's fine. The body is just telling me now it's time to do something else and, and I'm more than ready to do something else. Yeah, it's, it's very special. I'm not going to cry. It's very special to play my last tournament in Mauritius. It's, um, it means a lot. So yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I've been working in France before to move to, to England, like as a coach, head coach of a club and I enjoyed it so much. But it was putting a lot of like pressure and on my body so I decided to stop after four years but I always knew I wanted to be a coach like I love working with kids and just giving back what squash gave me like it was very important for me so yeah this this opportunity came so Rémi Mabillon is my sponsor and uh, and Lionel so both of them saw me coaching when I came uh, for Greg's retirement um, and uh, they were like, oh, we would like to, to have you. We are looking for a coach. Would you be interested? And, and I was like, really? Like, that's my dream job. Like, are you joking? <laughs> so I was like, oh, my God, yes. But at the time, I didn't really know for my, like, what was going on with my knee. So um, I said, uh, maybe not now, but in a couple of years. Like, I would love to come here. Like, yes. Um, but then... Again, I do believe in destiny, so everything came kind of like nicely and helped me to take this decision. I have something else after my squash and something like that is just, I mean, I, I am so grateful and I'm, I'm so lucky, I'm so happy and I'm like, I have the smile all the time. I'm just very, super excited to, to have a new chapter. So I'm very grateful to be uh, coaching uh, in uh, Mauritius, yes. I guess I would like to say thank you to all the people who's been supporting me, messaging me and, and all the love I received. Uh, they helped so much. Like, I don't think they have any idea how much it helps to not feel alone. 
So, so yeah, I just want to say a massive, a massive thank you to them because it's not only for me I did it, it's for them. And sharing that with all the people, it was very, very special for me.